because we're hanging a new artist in the studio, Yanni Johns. It's the uh, fishbowl feature artist, and it's probably one of the the best landscapes, uh, best central coast <laughs> landscapes I've ever, ever seen. Ooh, those are fighting words. We've got a couple of landscapers outside. Yeah. Oh, it's equal to Paul Haggins. Yes. <laughs> um, and anyone else who paints landscapes. <laughs> oh, it's really good. It's really good. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful work. But well, we've got um, Greg Charmaine. He's going to be our next fishbowl featured artist. And I am scouring the planet for people to hang in the fishbowl. So if you'd like to um, have your work selected to be hung here... Contact our curator. Contact me, yeah, yani at yanijohns.com. And make the files not too big. That's Y-I-A-N-N-I. Yeah, at Y-I-A-N-N-I. J-O-H-N-S. Dot com. And keep the files not too large because my server tends to regurgitate them. So 13 to 3... And uh, Greg Jarmain is our fishbowl feature artist. We've got the easel uh, ready. Hopefully we can fit that uh, that canvas on our easel, Yanni. You, yeah, you're a master at that. Oh, yeah, we'll manage. We'll manage. We'll engineer a solution. And uh, thanks to Andy Collis uh, for <laughs> providing his beautiful uh, triptych portrait of his friend uh, JP. JP. Uh, but uh, this, this time around, uh, Greg, you've drawn some great inspiration from our local, local uh, bush. Yep, the Hawkesbury River. It's the, the typical sandstone and, and trees that you know, we've driven past so many times. And I spent a lot of time when I was a young fellow paddling skis on the Hawkesbury. Well, I, I'm saying in this case, probably uh, this is more uh, the uh, view, uh, 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 a fisheye view, <laughs> a, a water bird view of it. Yeah, it's, it's from, from the, the photograph was actually taken from the surf ski. And uh, oh. it's looking back towards the across the sandbank and towards the bush, so it's, it is viewed from the water, you're right. Mm. It's really interesting, isn't it, uh, Greg, when you see early uh, English artists uh, attempting to portray the Australian landscape and they couldn't get their head around it, they yeah. couldn't, couldn't paint a gum tree. No, they struggle with that. It was an Australian scene with the, the, the English Elms and oaks. And what about the indigenous people are painted in classic or Greek stature? Yeah. The early ones. Yeah. yeah it's hard to, old habits die hard, I guess. You, know, mm. you rely on your memory and improvisation sometimes, and they improvise with their background. You could uh, almost picture, um, it's a timeless place, the Hawkesbury, isn't it? You can almost yes. picture an indigenous clan, the original owners, uh, camped on the beach there, feasting on oysters and mussels and yeah. pippies. What um, a great life. Before the white people took yeah. all the pippies. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it's an extraordinary thing. Uh, that. Um, sort of scene too where the sandstone is escarpment comes right down onto the beach yep. it, it hasn't been spoilt because they couldn't sort of get a toehold to develop there mm. and uh, a lot of it's in Karingai Chase National Park yep. and, and uh, Brisbane Water National Park isn't it now yep. so these uh, scenes are still there It's a very distinctive Australian combination the gum trees and the sandstone and it's it's just there every time you drive down the freeway it's, it's looking at you when you're crossing the bridge and the oily water of the uh, the hawks we slipping by well I, I, I prefer not to call it oily and not give up that, that. <laughs> I don't know, no, yeah, it's got, it gets that sort of uh, it's because got that color to it though yeah <laughs> it's deep it's dark it, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, well muddy you know, usually it's got a little bit, little yeah. bit turbid, mm. um, but you've captured it so beautifully. That's a scene that uh, is a lovely scene from a kayak, isn't it, or a, a, sur a surf ski, as you say. It's a beautiful place, the whole spring. Yeah. It's got to. And I note there's a little bit of fire that's gone through there too. We did have the fire come over from Broken Bay to Little Wobby, didn't we? Uh, a yep, while back, yep. a few years back. I'm happy to have you interpret it any way you like, and I'll yeah. with you. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, there is evidence of. Yeah. of you know, burnt rocks and trees and so on. This is a little bit, um, you mostly do beaches and uh, scenes like that. Yeah, this well, is... I, this was a plan. I did a couple of smaller paintings of the, of the same type of scene mm. with a view to um, to entering it in the wind prize next year. Oh, and yeah, I yeah. tried to make it a little more abstract than I normally do. Mm. Uh, that's a beautiful picture. Well well done. Thanks. Um, Thank you. And just imagine how much oil paint has gone into that. Oh, not a real lot. It's surprising. I don't tend to impast on it too much, you know. I tend to keep it fairly thin and build But it's it an up. oil, isn't it? It is oil, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, actually, there are some people who would use a lot more um, 
um, uh, what's the word uh, when it's blobbed on? Um, Impasto. Is it now? Yeah, yes. build it up. Yeah. Yes, a, a lot. Of, yeah, but Brad said he like blobbed rather than the <laughs> classical term. What's it called? Impasto. Impasto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impasto. Blob sort of covers it. Some people really lay it on with Very, the trowel, don't they? Literally. Very yes. blobby. Yeah, so I'm, get that I'm texture. too much of a skin flint to do that, you know. I yeah. tend to try. No. Well, I'm amazed that Yanni paints with oil paints because he puts it on so precisely and so smoothly most mm. of the time yeah. that it's a totally different way to apply oil paint than those people who apply it with a, a trowel. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're, um, there's still a lot of texture there, but it's, it's not sticky, it jutting out, is it? No. It has got some knife work in that one. I, used to, I went through a stage where I was painting the whole thing with knives and, and laying it in and, like a trowel in a way. Mm -hmm. But um, that one's nearly all brushwork. Oh, it's a beautiful and it's work. built up, you know, like lay it, lay it sort of thing, and that's, and that's where I get that kind of, try to get that depth into it. How many hours of work would go into a work like uh, that? I, I'm always hesitant to answer that because it's, I think I had about six stages to go through, so I, I couldn't tell you the hours. Greg, thanks so much for mm. coming in and letting us hang your, your beautiful work. Uh, hopefully we can keep it for a while because it'll be a an absolute showstopper outside the fishbowl. Well, thanks very much for inviting me, I appreciate it. Greg Jarmain there, our, our fishbowl feature artist, and um, I guess uh, landscaping is... It doesn't get much better.